Good afternoon, Asia. Hello, my name is Takanori Takebe, and I'm really excited to join this uh, symposium. We uh, we first generated a uh, 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 vascularized liver organoid structure for the first time in 2013. And the bottom file shows an example of a renal proximal tubular epithelial cells. We wanted to evaluate any effect of test article to angiogenesis. So here's a beautiful in vivo study by Tim Lemmerman. You can see a green mouse neutrophils within minutes migrate towards an induced damage, and then they produce collagen fibers here in between them. And indeed, fiber rests alone were sufficient to recruit neutrophils in the in vitro platform. We study the effect of the interaction between tumor cells, for example, lymphatic endothelial cells, or tumor and chromal cells. So we can mimic, yeah, recreate a situation where T cells are recruited uh, towards the tumor, um, and we can also model how different tumors interact with. With, with immune cell populations. Good afternoon, Europe. Good morning, America. This uh, type of model is being currently used as a basis of clinical trials using antisense oligonucleotides for SOT1 and CN and OF based mutations in ALS patients. So, in vitro modeling can really be the basis of new clinical trials. Then you have confocal detection. Well, of course, the, the most notorious or most beautiful example, I would say, are the organoid plates or the or, uh, organoplates from Mimitas with the angiogenesis models here. And we are in the midst of really developing equipment that can actually um, house you know, up to thousands of organoids. So we really feel that, there's, that this platform can be utilized for many different uh, methods of doing uh, cell culture. This is just some data from a screen we did on vascularizing of liver spheroids and liver tissues. We've actually been able to, able to implement this in quite decent scale screens. Not only do we have these 3D bone models, but we also have our other uh, tissue models to help us better understand the pathological mechanism of COVID-19. On this slide, we have our models for both the small airway and the alveoli capillary models. We also see that this particular system also shows different mechanisms of infection. We had T cells migrating towards our chemokines. You can really nicely see the hollow tube and the tumor cells. We have a T cell that is interacting with one of the tumor cells. I think I have two people here in the audience that can help me give a hand to all our speakers. What do you think? Guys, what an amazing afternoon it was. What a fantastic lectures did we hear. We learned so much and from such diverse angles. Have a nice day everybody and hopefully see you next year on 3 December.